In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the rear drum brakes on your Nissan Versa. Remove the hubcap. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the four lug nuts. Remove the wheel, remove the dust cap out of the drum using a little pick. We're going to turn this until we find the little star adjuster located right here. And we're going to pull the pads all the way into the closed position. Once we've done that, we can remove the drum. Using a pair of pliers, we're going to remove the front spring. Remove the little plate. Remove the bottom spring. Take the top spring out of place. We're going to push down on this circular ring and then we're going to turn it 90 degrees. Remove the lock, and you can push your pin out through the back. Pull the shoe down, grab your adjuster. We're going to put this out of the way for now. Using a pair of pliers, we're going to put one jaw on the top of this pin right here, and then squeeze the front of this horseshoe clip and pull it off of that post. Fully remove that clip. I used a flat blade screwdriver and twist it off of this pin and removed the horseshoe clip. And then we can pull the shoe off of the e-brake lever. Remove the lock off the other side and remove the shoe. Using a wire brush, we're going to clean up all the contact points where the shoe meets the backing plate. Using a bit of brake lube, we're going to just slightly touch all of the spots we just cleaned. Install the shoe onto the parking brake lever. Put on your little horseshoe clip. Get it around the pin. And we're going to squeeze the two ends together and lock it down. Put the pin through the back of the backing plate. Put your pad in place. And 
installed the spring and your little cover. While holding the pin in the back, we're going to push and twist and lock that in. Do the same thing on the other side. Screw your adjuster all the way down into the closed position. We're going to install it so that the extra cut will be facing us. So it'll be like this in the car. Install the upper spring in the back. Using a small pick tool, I just fished the little hook into here for our top back spring. Install the bottom spring. Install the little plate. Install the top front spring. I'm going to put our rotor on backwards using a bit of brake parts cleaner and a clean rag. Spray the drum and wipe the surface. Flip it over and install it. Using a flat blade screwdriver, we're going to twist the adjuster wheel up and tighten the pads. Install the dust cap into the drum. Install the wheel. and the four lug nuts. Torque the wheels in a cross pattern to 83 foot-pounds. Install the hubcap. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.